Hello and welcome to Infinity. Sometimes when you're doing a picture with something white in it, which is a bit of the focus, then it can be an idea to just kind of increase the whiteness of it. So here are three different ways that you can do that, all just using curves. So the first one, just simply go to the adjustments and curves. And I just pull this up here. The picture gets brighter altogether. So I want to invert the built-in masks that is in the curves here to make that curves effect disappear. Then I'll paint back in white to get it return. So I can go to layer here and invert or just hit control I. And now if I paint back in white, I can bring it back. So I can go to over here and get the paintbrush and make it a suitable size painting in there. Uh, opacity 100%. Hardness, I got 51% so it's got a sort of a hard middle. But I want to paint this in white here. So here we go, you can see this searchlight effect there. So I'm just going to paint back the white in that there. I can go back over these here. Problem with doing this is I'm kind of like blobbing other areas. So if I go into this bush here, for example, I've lightened that. So I'd have to go around then with the black area here and paint. And the more complex this is, the more of a, a mess it is to do this. But it's, you know, it's a quick and easy way of doing it. A slightly better way to do this. And I'm going to right click and delete that there because I can't clear the mask that's built in there. So let's delete that. I'll put back a curves and do a brighten up here. But want to constrain this to the lighter area so that I can use the cogwheel over here, blend ranges, or up here it's called blend options, but it's the same thing when you've got the layer selected there. So let's just put that one on there. And then I'm going to use the right hand graph I pull this down here, so this is upwards is uh, the the strength of effect, and crosswards is from dark to light. So I pull this over here, and now I've turned it down here, and I can grab an extra point here, just like with curves, and bring this up, and I can uncheck the linear to make this curve. And I've now restrained this to this effect to the light, so it's got effectively a built-in mask to this. However, if I click and unclick here, see I'm actually applying this all over the place. But that just means I'm kind of going to fiddle with this again here. And it's a bit of a faff, but you know, it, it kind of, let's see how that goes. Yeah, that's better. So it's a bit tricky, but it means that you can constrain it fairly easily. And if I look at this again, if I didn't want to apply it to this one down here, for example, I've now got a paintbrush, paint in matter black on this layer, and then I can remove the effect in areas I want to leave it. So that's a, a big improvement. An improvement again on this is, again, I go to the curves. And I'm going to brighten it all up. But now what I'm going to do is add a luminosity mask. And why you see in a minute. So I go down to the mask layer here, right click and put in luminosity range mask. And then I'm going to drag that down so it's on top of the curves there. So it's applying to that curves layer. And then I'm going to click on that and it brings up this. And this is just like the blend ranges type mask. So I'm going to pull down this and bring this across. But what I can do with this is where it says preview. Click on preview and now I can see what effect is being selected. So only the white is being selected. So I can very carefully go up here to this and add a point in here. It's kind of reversed to the blend ranges there because I can make it go linear here, but it starts off naturally as a curve. So I can select the area I want, 
But what I can put about these areas here, well again, if I got a black mask, I can paint on that luminosity range mask here, and this adds a mask to it, so I can paint over those areas that I don't want. So I can just take those out, and now I know that I'm applying this just to the house. I can see exactly where it's being applied. If the edge is going to be a bit hard pixelated, I can also turn up the blur a bit there. There we go. Take out that van there. And I can just uncheck the preview and turn it on again to see where I am. I can go back to the curves and I can brighten this up and, and down so it applies just to that area there. So there we go, a very simple, slightly better than the normal way of doing it using a luminosity mask. Thank you very much for watching.